Now, before you start watching this video, I want you to be aware that only certain people are going to need to do this video, okay? So, take a look here. You see this, uh, let me zoom forward. You see this Google Ads Mobile Unity Master folder? If you see this in your project, then you need to keep watching this video, okay? If you see it like this, exactly titled as this, okay? Now, listen, I'm going to say it one more time. Only if it's titled as Google Ads dash mobile dash unity dash master, you will need to continue watching this video because we're going to run into tons of problems with this folder. Okay, so I want you to listen to me. Continue if you have this folder. However, if you have Google mobile ads like this, Okay, and you can even open this up and you would just see API, common, editor, stuff like that. If you have this folder, then I believe you're you're good to go. But you might want to you might want to watch to the end because there is some additional steps to fill in some settings that are related to this, okay? Um, if you want to be safe, then yeah, follow along this this the video. That would be awesome. But you can see how this there's just a lot of stuff. You see this Google, this Google Mobile Ads API, right? So this folder right here exists, but it's in the wrong place. I don't know how it happened. You see there's a bunch of junk in here, like plugin assets. Yeah, this is all in the right, this is all in the wrong spot. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix this and how to prevent future errors in the future. Hello guys, Crypto Grounds here. Welcome back to another Unity C Sharp Battle Game tutorial video. This is episode 42, and today I'm going to be doing some stuff related to our ads. Because as, you, as some of you may have experienced, we've got a lot of issues, right? Okay, so there is just tons of issues. I've had tons of issues building, and I was actually this to, this episode was supposed to be the Android building episode, but that just nope. I need to do this first. So today we're gonna be fixing our ad mod. Okay. So basically what I've done in the back end is deleted that folder. I don't exactly remember what it was called, but here, if we go to, here, I'm, don't follow me, Just I'm just gonna do what I was doing. Okay, so you see this Google Ads Mobile Unity Master? See that folder? I feel like that occurred because we didn't install, it didn't install correctly, okay? So I want you to kindly delete this folder. Just delete it all, okay? It's okay, you're safe, I promise. So delete that folder and let's continue. So. We're using Google Mobile Ads v5.2.0. So I'm gonna give it another shot. If this doesn't work, then I'm gonna have to import an even older version. So click import and we should be good to go. Oh, let's see, we got an error here already. What's wrong? Oh, okay, that's fine, import. Now let's cross our fingers that it'll work. And if it doesn't, then we are gonna have to go to version four, which is what I use for crypto clickers. Man, this sucks. I was not hope. I, I don't know. I've been struggling with this all day, and I guess maybe that's why we had some issues with building and for the PC. I don't know. It's crazy. I'm. I. I totally forgot. I was still even using such an old version of Google AdMob. Okay, so it looks like it's doing it. Oh, it did it correctly. Sweet. So okay. So you remember that old video that we had, or that old file, right? Let me load that up. Okay, so now our folder here is Google Mobile Ads. It looks like this. And if we go to our video here, you can see it had a, like a weird, really crazy formatting. Like, look at that here. See that, it had like, gr it is just a mess. I don't know what happened here. This is the correct way, okay? So this folder was just thrown inside a completely different folder, which completely makes sense, okay? Why? why we were having issues in the future, why you guys were probably having issues, and I deeply apologize for that, okay? I should have done a better under a better job looking at that, okay? So now that we have re-imported this, I wanna go to our assets, uh, Google Mobile Ads, settings, okay? So before, clicking that button would give us an error until you click it a few more times, it'll work. So now we're in our settings here. We want to click this enabled, okay? And paste our ID. This is our app ID. You can find this in Google uh, AdMob. Where is it? Where did my thing go? I literally just had it open. Okay, so we go to our apps, our, and then we're on our game right here. Go to app settings and copy this ID. Also, just be aware when building the game and publishing it to the app store, you're going to want to link this app to your, your the app store game or else they're going to pretty much ban you for, or not really ban you, but kind of get, stop you from loading ads because it's not a registered app. 
So, all right, and that's just for protection. So now paste your app ID into this section and save it, and it should be good to go. So now um, this should be ready to go. And just in case, we might need to drag it. Nope, we're good. So let's make sure this doesn't <laughs> screw anything up when we play the game outside of Android. So we should be error free. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So now we get this all this dummy stuff. And to get rid of this, you can just simply go to debug. Or you can just comment all of these out because these are really, really annoying. And it pretty much just shows you that they work. Like the code itself works. So you can just get rid of all these dummy uh, debug logs just by commenting them out. And the code is kind of shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that should fix our issues. Anyways, I know that was a really short video and I don't think I'll be able to get the Android out for another, another week or another five days. I'm very sorry, but hopefully this video will solve some issues. And if also this video is um, after the ads just because I want to fix this before we even cause some future problems. So if you see some content here that doesn't look quite familiar, don't worry. It's nothing to do with the ad itself. Okay. So make sure you follow along the tour the rest of the tutorial series. And I hope this helped. If it did, make sure you leave a like comments. If it did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on those notifications so you can get notified for future videos and live streams. Uh, share with your friends too. I'm sure these videos could help out other people and your friends who are wanting to learn how to code, put ads in your games, stuff like that, or even learn how to use Unity or Code C Sharp. So yeah, that would be a, that would mean a lot. And in the comments, I want you to comment hashtag crypto ground sucks at ad mob or something i don't know comment hashtag crypto ground sucks at ad mob <laughs> something funny i guess anyways thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one peace